Привіт! I'm Daya from Ukraine and welcome to my channel again. We are having a nice talking video today, guys. So grab a cup of coffee or tea, sit comfortable and let's go. How I've learned English, why people don't speak English much in Ukraine, my story and how we see English is difficult for us or an easy language. While I was preparing for this video, the electricity turned off, but that will not stop me recording the video. The main is you are okay with this light. First of all, before we start, I would like to thank my sponsor of this video, the Ukraine service. Who doesn't know, I'm a personal assistant in Ukraine and I can help you with various things. You can visit my site and I'm here also to promote my wonderful My Mom's Handmade Knitting beanies with Ukrainian symbol. We call it Trezub. Just keep in mind that it will take around a month until you get it. You can order it on my site and also other stuff. You can see it in the video description and as a first pinned comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Lots of people are watching my video and I don't know why you haven't still subscribed. YouTube algorithm, I really need you. I really need you. So put the like on this video, comment, subscribe and share. Anyway, back to the topic. That was very interesting when I started my channel. Most people liked my accent, but my people, they wrote me, what a horrible accent. You should not humiliate yourself and make your YouTube vlog. And I don't know why our people are so ashamed of our own accent. I think that's normal when you learn a foreign language. I see how people are reacting if a foreigner speaks Ukrainian. Oh my God, why did you learn Ukrainian? You are amazing. It doesn't matter the accent, but they can be angry about uh, our own people speaking English. However, I never stopped and my vlog really helped me to level up my English. How it all started? In kindergarten here, we start to have English classes, but you know, those classes are like learning words like frog, cat and dog and hi and very, very basic stuff. In junior school, uh, we had one or two time English lessons per week. That was enough to learn about very basic words and phrases and very basic grammar. I don't really remember myself what I could say uh, when I was eight, but I remember that my mom hired a tutor for me and my sister. So from fourth grade, I had a tutor until the end of my high school. All applause to my parents who made up with this idea, who came to this idea and they were paying a lot of money to classes and additional tutor because obviously just going to the public school was not enough. From uh, fifth grade we had French classes. As I found out, not all Ukrainians have it, only those who live in big cities and maybe towns, but in the village um, I ask some kids and they don't have any um, second foreign language. They are 10 and 12 right now and they even don't know how to read at all. They just know hi and good afternoon teacher because that's what they are saying every single lesson. I was helping them with some English because they don't even know like very basic common uh, phrases like how are you or my name is even so yeah quarantine and war really affected anyway so from that time i was having a tutor when i was in seventh grade my level was already a confident a2 level because i was considered as one of the best in my class who knows English and also I was sent to different kind of competitions, you know, between school and so. Usually the class is around 30 people, at least that's what I had in Kyiv, but we are divided into two groups when it's um, about uh, to learn English, so around 15 people in the class. I attended not a very regular school, and our school had around 90 minutes 
as a one lesson like it is in a college university it's still 90 minutes for 15 people it wasn't that that a lot aside from my school i had usually two extra hours additionally per week and the same with french i consider myself very lucky kid because uh, if i didn't have tutors i would not be talking actually with you right now so usually parents bought special books something like this uh, this is success upper intermediate books and uh, this is for high school we learn a very mm, right formal British English and you need to know lots of grammar only when I was finishing my high school I was 17 back then I considered I was a confident intermediate level however I knew basic grammar and yeah I could understand some stuff but I could not be very fluent like I am right now I wasn't able to express my feelings and my thoughts freely and highlight some emotions yeah we are taught uh, a lot of stuff how to write emails or we were practicing dialects with each other or um, I don't know giving speech and listening also uh, we have a CD for each workbook and uh, students book but uh, obviously that was not enough so hopefully my parents also uh, saved that money and sent us to a language school in Malta we like connect um, the nice time at the beach and the sea while learning some English uh, because I remember when you are studying a foreign a special language and then you are having summer holidays for three months you know during this break you basically forget lots of stuff and then you need to start over and when you hear English basically that's um, music and you could hear English <laughs> in adapt movies on TV so there's you know English audio and then on top you hear Ukrainian translation Може про те, що у ті труси отам на дроті твої, ти їх забула, як займалася на терасі сексом з веселим Бобі. Що? Хвилиночку. Хто тобі сказав? I think everyone here know about um, how to introduce themselves and to show very basic direction. If you are as a tourist in Ukraine, they will be okay, but everyone is very shy about their English and not confident. So I found this diagram and I translated it. It says that only 18% of Ukrainians know English fluently and around 50% of Ukrainians have average pre-intermediate level. Also on the left you can see how many Ukrainians know other foreign languages. Just reminding for native speakers, you know, we had to learn all these columns of irregular verbs from the beginning, like arise, arose, arisen, uh, build, built, built, feel, felt, felt, put, 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 and uh, lots of other stuff. I also learned Polish and some Japanese uh, in my life, so Honestly, in my personal opinion, English is not the hardest language on this planet. French and German are harder, I think, because it is closer to my language where we need to, you know, change the endings of the verbs and actually of every noun. I consider my language one of the hardest because if you are not Slavic at all and you don't know how my language works, it can break your brain basically while learning so you need to be real, really ready for that if you consider learning Ukrainian for myself English is not hard but yeah that's easy to judge because I already know it English does not work the same as Ukrainian at all also English bro broke my mind a lot of times what still really confuses me about English is perfect tenses because we don't have anything like that in Ukrainian like present perfect and past simple what's the difference man like <laughs> i still can confuse it 
I didn't really understand the difference between British and American English. At school we had few lessons per year, like the differences between those two. You don't hear American English at all while learning English in general. So only when I started to watch YouTube, because in 2013 and 14, you know, all this YouTube area has started. So for me at the beginning, British and American English uh, didn't really have lots of difference. Like it's two foreign languages for me. How can I really <laughs> make a difference out of two very similar Englishes? They are all the same, but yeah. Uh, after time, I clearly hear uh, right now the differences between words and I'm like, damn it, it's like I need to learn additional language. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching as usual, guys. Let me know in comments what are the topics you would like to find out. And don't forget, subscribe, like, share and comment. Learn it just like a rule. You can also find me in social medias, just don't be lazy and open this damn video description. And see you in my next episode. Bye! Bye! -bye.